Hi, I'm Kelly Holmes here with PrintingNews.com, and we have the pleasure of interviewing Thayer Long, the new Executive Director for NPES. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Kelly. Great to yeah, be here. Awesome. We are here at Graph Expo in Orlando this year. We have palm trees and oranges and all kinds of different things than you can get in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So it's a new venue for Graph Expo, and what has the response been from vendors and attendees? Well, uh, Good morning, Kelly. Thanks again for having me here. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a new venue. It's uh, my first Graph Expo, too, so everything is completely new for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, as you pointed out, it, we've been in Chicago for maybe the past 25 years, and now we've come to Orlando, and people don't know what to expect. And, but I think what they can expect is a great show. I think awesome. the attendees can expect to come learn about technology in the field to help them improve their business, help them improve their profitability. And I think what we're going to also see for the exhibitors is moving it to Orlando is going to be bringing in a whole plethora of first-time attendees, people that just haven't been to, haven't been to a Graph Expo before. Now that now that we're here in Florida, it's going to be uh, sort of in their in their home court, so to speak. And so, you know, I think we're very positive about the the, uh, the influx of new attendees to experience a Graph Expo. Awesome. Now, do you expect uh, Latin American attendees? Is that, well, was well, that in the original uh, plan? Orlando is uh, one of the top destinations for South American uh, visitors in the United States, so we have made a big push to, to, to that market, and uh, we're confident that we're going to see an influx of uh, people from Latin and South America coming to Orlando. Awesome. So the theme of this year's show is Refresh. And it is very refreshing. The colors are extremely vibrant. The show floor looks awesome. So, but what can attendees expect from that term refresh? Well, so I, I think our, our approach now with uh, Graph Expo is the, the expectation that if an attendee is going to come to an event like this, they need to have real takeaway value. And I, I think Graph Expo has always been known as a technology show, and I think we're still going to continue to promote the technology. I know our, our vendors will. But I think also what we're seeing is, is how vendors can really become partners uh, to their, to their customers, in their customers' business. In other words, how is it sort of beyond technology, right? So they're, they're looking for solutions to uh, you know, help improve their operations, help improve their profitability, help increase their sales. And so I think that, that positioning of the show um, through our educational programs too is going to be uh, a bit different um, from what you've seen in the past and I think also going forward as we look at Graph Expo and print in the future. Oh, that sounds awesome. So what are some of the new features on the show floor this year? Well, we've got one great new feature called the House of Print Built. And it, it's in a pavilion that features uh, different applications of imaging. Um, not just on paper, but uh, on textiles, on uh, uh, wallpaper. Uh, so, so the, sort of the theme, the house that Print built, uh, you know, will we'll follow the various applications that you see our 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 business and our industry uh, gravitating towards. Okay. We're also going to uh, see a lot of emphasis on, of course, uh, digital and inkjet, which continues to, you know, I think, really be a driving factor in. Uh, in the uh, in the space, um, and I think we've got uh, materials matter pavilion, uh, and so and then the educational sessions. I think we're we're really going to see some some really neat programs on uh, on how to increase your your sales and, and how to how to run your business better for our attendees. Awesome. So in in what ways do the various uh, co-located events that are happening at the show complement Graph Expo? Because I know there's several of those that are happening as yes, well. Yes, I think we have over 40, maybe 50 co-located events. I think what the, what the co-location shows is just the breadth and depth of, of the industry and how Graph Expo as the premier uh, event for the printing and imaging industry in the United States uh, you know, brings people together. So I think, mm -hmm. you know, to me, that's, that's the sign of co-location is just is, is bringing the various aspects, uh, seemingly disparate aspects of the industry together under one roof uh, mm -hmm. to share the technology and the information. Mm -hmm. And you think that that helps to increase the attendees and to bring people into the venue? Oh, sure. I mean, and, and it helps also, um, it's, you know, not just bringing them on the floor, but also all the networking. 
that goes on at a trade show like Rap Expo. I mean, that's sort of sometimes the, the, un, the unsung attribute of an event like this, where you know, this is the place to be for the industry, not just to see the new technology, not just for the education, but also for the networking mm -hmm. um, amongst the different facets. And so we, we really hope that our, our attendees to take full advantage of an event like Graph Expo is to obviously talk to the vendors and the exhibitors, but talk to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, find out what, you know, how, what, what's going on in their business, uh, um, each other's businesses, and share that information and take that back to, to your home uh, in your location and you know put some of those best practices to use. Awesome. Well, I know you've been on the job now for all of what six, eight About months. About six months. Yes. About six months. So, uh, what what kind of changes do you see coming in the future? Well, I think uh, you know as the industry changes, um, you know as a as a trade show and, and as a, as an association, you know, we want to not just change with it, but we want to be uh, leading. Um, uh, and so I think what you're going to see is, uh, from an association standpoint, um, less working for and more working with our members in our industry mm -hmm. um, to be that, that vital partner uh, for our vendors and for the industry, uh, both on the printing but also I think the wider imaging space. So um, we're, we're excited, uh, we, we've obviously as you pointed out, only six months in, still kind of learning. but. Uh, mm -hmm. But we do see a lot of opportunity. Um, you know, this is a great industry. It's a growing industry, mm -hmm. and so we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to support the entire industry and the entire value chain, all the way from from the vendor, uh, from the from the manufacturer, uh, to their customer, and even their customer's customer. Okay, and I don't want to downplay your experience by any means, saying that you've only been here for six months, because you <laughs> okay. come to this industry with some awesome experience. Sure. Well, no, so tell I us a little bit about that. Thayer. A uh, little bit about Thayer. Um, well, I've uh, I've been in the trade association industry for about 20 years, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it spanned a couple different sectors. The construction sector is where I started out in the home building area, and then also. Um, moved into the electrical technology space. Um, okay. So, and now I'm here. So, and it's great. And, and uh, Graph Expo is great. Um, uh, the the industry is great. Great people. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and it's a growing industry. So, looking okay. forward to the future. Great. And we're lucky to have you. So, thank <laughs> right. you for being here. <laughs> thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks.